I was inspired to work with patients because I saw the power of the physician care for patients even in extreme life and death circumstances. It really sparkled to me the interest is that if we understand how the memories are formed in our brain, we can understand our mind and ourself. Well, I think the human aspect is that it affects essentially everybody in the society from citizens to soldiers to kids playing sports. So I think the field of psychiatric disease is a few steps behind, primarily because we simply haven't had the right tools in order to study the brain until now. Our work really depends on collaboration. Collaboration is built into the DNA of this place. It's one of the things that attracted me. Traditionally, science has been done in silos, with each laboratory doing something quite distinct. A lot of times the biggest discoveries lie at the intersect. UCSF brings together a unique confluence of computational biology, new genomic technologies, and incredible patient cohorts. We now have experts in many, many different fields that can come together and together try to solve this greatest mystery of the mind. We are facing another revolution, the revolution of neuroscience. High risk, high reward research is why we do research. It really lets us explore our biggest ideas and tackle our biggest challenges. Some of the boldest scientific ideas have arisen from philanthropic support. The WILE Award is going to allow us to develop a new diagnostic test for traumatic brain injury by bringing resources from the laboratory and applying it to a large clinical research database. There really wasn't a mechanism to fund this work until now. We have been able to demonstrate that we can reverse memory deficits. Now with the WILE Award, we will understand how we are able to make neurons to function again. It'll help us look for molecular biomarkers for diseases like anxiety and obsessive compulsive disorder. And on the other hand, it'll help us look on a broader scale at the neural circuits in the brain that are controlling these behaviors. Ultimately, our goal is to better understand these circuits in order to tap into them therapeutically. We're developing a new diagnostic test that promises to diagnose patients within 24 to 48 hours who come in with inflammation of the brain. With the Weil Award, our goal is no less than to revolutionize pharmacology. My biggest dream is to test the hypothesis that it's possible to develop an opioid analgesic that treats pain without causing addiction. The Weil Institute is already pushing this work forward to bring together different specialties and encourage interdisciplinary work. I'm not going to tell you that our work couldn't happen outside of UCSF, but what I can tell you is it probably wouldn't. The culture to work together, to discuss together, to come together, the renaissance is happening here at UCSF.